need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. When you make selections, you can also click Refine Edge in the Options bar, which allows you to improve the quality of your selections edges in the Refine Edge dialog box. You can then use the sliders to adjust the various parameters, or you can enter a value into the entry box provided. Let's go ahead and click Refine Edge. We'll view the Refine Edge dialog box. Up here in the view mode area right here which is shown at the bottom of the dialog box in versions prior to CS5. You can select a mode from the drop down list to change how the selection is displayed. You just hover your mouse pointer over the choices and it will give you a brief explanation of the various views. So for example marching ants looks like a typical selection marquee, or you can choose overlay, or we'll choose on black. When the show radius checkbox is checked, right here, it displays the selection border where the changes occur. The show original checkbox just below that lets you display the original selection as a point of comparison. Note that you also have the zoom and the hand tools located on the left hand side over here that allow you to more easily refine your selection. Under the edge detection area right here, the radius sets the size of the selection boundary where the edge refinement will occur. A higher radius will allow you to create a more precise selection in areas with fine detail. Smart Radius, this checkbox right here, will automatically adjust the radius for both hard and soft edges. You leave this option deselected if you want more precise control over the selection or if your border has a uniformly hard or soft edge. To the left of edge detection, over here, we have a little toggle button. And you can click the Refine Radius tool, which is available in version CS5. And you can even toggle between that and erase refinements by holding down the Alt key on your keyboard. So I can hold down Alt and I can click that and go back and forth or you can right click to select refine or erase. If I select refine for example, we're going to bring the radius back down if we want to refine the edge over here. You can then go into your image and you're going to be using a brush tool at this point to click and drag to refine the edges. You'll see how that works with your selection then. Now again we can toggle to erase and do the opposite. So times when you would use this for example are when you are making selections that have very precise and fine edges to them. For example if you're selecting an image with hair around it you might use the edge detection there. Under Adjust Edge, this area just below that, Smooth, this slider, removes the wrinkles in irregular areas of a selection, sometimes referred to as hills and valleys. Feather creates a soft edge transition from the selection of the pixels that surround it. So you can click and drag to change the feathering. Let's see what that does. Contrast will sharpen your selection edges and can be effective in removing noise around selections. That's right there. Shift Edge, 
which is called contract and expand in CS4 and earlier versions, will shrink or expand the sec selection boundary and is most helpful for making slight adjustments to soft edge selections. So you can just click and drag that at will. Now under output, this last selection here, you can check decontaminate colors, which will replace any color fringes, which is the fuzzy color area you sometimes see around selection areas, with the color of the selected pixels nearby to give a cleaner selection. Note that this option changes pixel colors and as such, you must output the selection to a new layer or document which you must select from the available dropdown where it says output to. If you wish to use these same settings on your next selection, you click the remember settings checkbox at the bottom here. But when you're done making your selections here, then you just click OK. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.